I love those words that never get associated with anything else. Name another one. Mm, let me I think. Know. Let me think. Uh, um, moot point. What else is moot? What else has been rendered moot? And that's hey, you got any? You got any uh, leftovers? No, that's a moot. That's a moot plate. Moot plate. <laughs> <laughs> and that's M O O T, right? M O O T. Yeah, yeah. And it just means like a bad point, right? Not I, bad. I don't, it's like a it's non-existent like point. You don't know you're like bad. It means bad something. Yeah, like yeah, non-existent. Po- like it's a moot point. Like it doesn't are even dinosaurs matter. Dinosaurs moot. Dinosaurs are moot. No, but They're it's not, not quite moot. the same as extinct. That that Dak play, would he have? What, what would the play he have run had you know had there been two more seconds on the clock? It's a moot point. It's because, a moot point because he doesn't even get a chance to run it. This mediocre quarterback who's overrated won't get a chance to run that play. So moot would be like doesn't matter point. Doesn't matter. How, right? How's the how's the pastrami here? Okay, I went to Katz's today. Get fatter. How's the pastrami at Katz's? It's moot. They're out of it. No, but that's a moot point. That's yeah. a moot point still. What else is used with moot and inclement? What are the words? I've never heard of anyone besides inclement weather or moot point. Yeah. What other words are there? The fact that you came up with moot was rem- uh, remarkable. Because I know, and that's not even the one I was thinking of. I don't know the one I was thinking of, but it was remarkable. What other words are only associated with one thing? I mean, I can't think of anything else. Schindler's List. <laughs> There's others list. There's other lists. Other list. There's There's Angie's list. list. There's Angie's List. What is Angie's List? She she helps people get house cleaning jobs. They're always on NPR. Yeah, Aren't you by Angie's List? I think it's house cleaning jobs. Really? It's high level for NPR. Oh, the people who are hiring house cleaners. Yeah, it's like a it's like right, a right, Craigslist right, for NPR house people. cleaning. I think it's house cleaning people. Who's Angie? Yeah, I, Moot like, and Inclement are the only two. There's for sure more for re, for words that are just. That's for sure more. That's a comment section thing. Yeah, tell us Help the us ones out. that are. Help us out. Moot, inclement. See, that's the problem with pot. Now I'm going to think about it, and now it's like. Now we're not going to podcast well. We're going to be talk about, yeah. I mean, somebody, at least 100 people are screaming. What are they, could they possibly things. say? What could they be? Words they've made up. There's got to be other words. We, um, could you imagine we found the only two? I bet you none of these cunts found another word. I bet they did. I they not one them. comment. They're down fucking the Soros dorks. Who's, do, do you think these are the smartest people out there? They know what they what they're you know smartest podcast words? fans. That it, that it's not like an NPR one. Who who's yeah, smarter as a fan base? Oh, uh, Rogan's. They don't know shit. That's why no, they're not talking to scientists. Rog- but I think there's like really smart podcasts where like like real smart people listen to them. Who has the smartest podcast fans? It might not. Let's rule out Tiger Comedians? Belly. Yeah, but I'm saying their fans of their podcast are or if you smart. If you gave them like a IQ test, head to head, to the death. Why did you say rule out Tiger Belly? They got to be morons. Oh, Not I thought the, you were going the other way because they were Asian and they're going to be smarter than everybody else. Oh, I actually didn't consider that they <laughs> might like, have a high number of Asians. If of, of Bobby Lee's fans, mm. you know, they could be like fucking Cal Poly. Yeah, fucking... I, I'm not talking about who would represent you in Math Bowl. Okay. I'm talking about per capita, got the it. average. Yes, Nate Bargatze, I'm assuming, just no, stereotype dude. alone has a. I've dumb. listened to Nate Land. Dumb. Yeah, dumb. Oh, I thought you were saying dumb. No, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. No, I'm no. like, dumb, wait a minute. Dumb, I'm like, dumb. this is because like... he's also dumb. Yeah, but da- Nate's not like dumb, dumb. But he's like an average person. He's the smartest average American, right? Yeah, whatever yeah. he calls himself. But yeah, that's what. I mean, that's yeah. He's not like he. I'm. Pr- I'm more sure can read. Yes, but... he can read. He went to Vanderbilt, didn't he? No, he actually did not. He's just a big supporter of Vanderbilt because he lives what? nearby. Yeah, he did not go to Vanderbilt. I'm almost positive for that. Does the New York Times know about that? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> An expose. Damn, dude. Hitting that fucking Bargatze shit hard. 